hello guys uh, welcome to tech design so hope everyone is doing great so in this tutorial i'm going to make an uh, part modeling example as you can see here so this is my part modeling model today so we have you know 3d isometric view with a lot of dimensions so we can just go ahead and uh, create a new file so go to new file here and keep it as a model and click ok so now once you go into a sketcher environment we can just make a sketch so let me go into sketcher environment click ok so this is my sketcher environment so as you can see here um, we can start from any point of the you know uh, sketch so i am going to do it on the side view uh, this is a front view so from front view i am just going to create this entire uh, profile so that later we can just extrude and uh, uh, remove the material uh, that is not required so what I'll do is I'll just go to rectangle here and I'll just create a simple rectangle. So this is my simple rectangle. So let me dimension, give the dimension for this. As you can see here 30 mm and 12 mm is the dimension. So this is 30 mm and this is 12 mm. Okay, simple base. So now what I can do is I will just draw two, uh, you know, uh, radius as you can see here the curves two curves with a radius of 30 mm and uh, 60 mm so let me go to arc and it is a center point arc so i'll just draw this this is 30 mm and both should be starting at uh, you know center should be same so that is why i'm just drawing it so i'll just go to constraints so coincide so this should be coincide with this and it should be vertically aligned horizontally aligned sorry you can see here so there is a line on which the center point should line so we just need to make it horizontal alignment so now it is horizontally aligned and this point should lie on this uh, you know point so let me give this point um, this point okay so we don't have a dimension for this so let me give a dimensions and this is 30 mm and this is 60 mm okay it's already 60 since we have given 30 here it will be 60 only okay so now uh, so this point should also be you know aligned uh, vertically with this okay and now now as you can see here there is an uh, you know a circle here with a radius of 8 and a diameter of 8 so let me draw these two lines two sorry circles so one with a 8 mm diameter and another with a 16 mm diameter so let me go to constraints so these two should be concentric so let's create a concentric okay so now this center point should lie on the same point line so let me give vertical alignment with these two points and now uh, these circles should be tangent to this arc so go to constant uh, geometric constraints so these two should be tangent so now remove the whatever extra line we have here so trim it up okay so now as you can see there is a uh, straight line and then 7 mm of uh, you know straight around the horizontal line so let us draw that now so there will be a line here like this and we also 7 mm line here so let me give this dimension it should be 7 mm okay and now as you can see here just we can just extrude this and uh, make a line here so i'm just going to draw this line and this line as well so let me trim these extra lines okay so now uh, we don't have this dimension so let us see where the dimension is given so now as you can see here this is 30 mm and 27 mm so it means that it is 57 mm so let me give a 57 mm dimension for this line from this point okay 57 and we don't want this line so let me trim this okay so now we got this and also we can I'm just going to make this line as well as you can see there is a 30 degree angle and uh, let me draw that go to lines and there is a one line and another line which is it is already parallel so if it is not parallel for you you can just go to geometric constraint hit a parallel so these two should be parallel to each other and then let me go to dimensions so this dimension should be 30 degree 
and I'm going to make it a little bit more and let me close this now this we are going to remove it on the other side so I'm just um, not you know making constraint for this so let me keep it as much as possible and click finish so I think we are done with all the you know, sketches so we can just queue finish so now what we have to do is we have to go to extrude and what is the extrude length this is 30 mm and here it is 20 mm and the other side it is 20 mm so it is 70 mm so I am going to select single curve and these are my curves ok so it should be symmetric value of 35 ok click ok now and also I am just going to make this as well so go to sketcher environment ok uh, we will take it later and now as you can see there are uh, multiple cutouts here so we are going to do that from the other uh, sketch so go to sketcher in moment and select this plane click ok ok so now we are having this rectangle here and also there is one more rectangle here and also there is one more rectangle here so we just need to give dimensions for this as you can see this cutout and uh, this cutout and this cutout I'm just making it so now you can see there is a 30 mm and along this there are 30 mm so go to dimensions this should be 30 and between this to this it should be 30 and this you can just extrude it a little bit more so that uh, we can able to remove the body so let's make it as a you know a symmetric for that I'll just go to geometric um, symmetric these two lines should be symmetric to this so the same dimension we have to give this 30 okay and let me make vertical alignment to this body to this body okay now as you can see here uh, this is a 27 mm gap here so let me give the dimension of 27 between this to this okay and now let's go to here now as you can see here uh, after 12 mm it should be removed so let us give the dimension from this to this it should be 12 mm okay and now so this is the required so this should be 20 minus 10 which should be 10 so between this point to this point it is 10 mm okay so I want to mirror this on the other side as well so go to mirror curve and select a connected curves center line should be this and click ok so now everything is done so you can just finish the sketch and go to extrude select this sketch and it should be in the opposite direction and it should be subtracted from that body click ok so now we don't want this sketch hide it so now as you can see here all the you know uh, material removal is done so now what we have to do is we have to make this so go to extrude again and single curve and stop at intersection so these curves I'm going to select okay so now as you can see here uh, let me see so this is actually uh, 30 mm and then this side it is 10 mm this side it is 10 mm it is nothing but a 50 mm so we just need to give symmetric value of 25 and click okay okay it should be united with the body okay so now what i'll do is i'll just go to sketcher environment on this plane and uh, now as you can see here there is an arc with a 15 mm distance so let us go to uh, okay so I'll just constrain it tangent so it should be tangent to this line as well as this should be tangent to this line and there is a dimension between this point to this point it is 15 mm okay now go to this 
profile and start this here let me draw a line here so this line and trim this extra portion also these curves now go to profile and select this point so i'm drawing this because we are just removing the material so you can just make sure that everything is covered so you can just finish the sketch and now go to extrude and single curve so these things the curves we just need to select okay it should be in opposite direction should be subtracted from the body okay so now what is left is so there is a hole here so let me draw that hole as well so go to sketcher again you can make in a single sketch as well so go to here okay finish the sketch now extrude this also we can have to do for this as well it should be in symmetric so it should be subtracted from this body now hit control w and hide everything and show only solids so now as you can see here our model is completed as per given drawing so hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys uh, if you have any doubts please comment in the section below so i'll try to answer thank you guys